How's it going everyone? Today I'm doing what is probably the best upgrade I can do for my camper. I am upgrading to lithium batteries. So the stock lead acid has a pretty small capacity. I do have a 100 watt solar panel on the roof. Um, but we're gonna be doing some light boondocking. So I wanted to increase the capacity. What I have here is two 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries. It should give me 200 amp hour capacity, which is about four times more uh, storage capacity than I had with the original lead acid. Now I am by no means a electrical expert, so I don't know a ton about this stuff, but I do know this is a super easy upgrade. I'm gonna wire these in parallel, and I'll show you how to do that in this video. So here are the EcoWorthy 12 volt batteries. I got these both for like 320 bucks. That's for both, not each. So pretty reasonable in my opinion. And I'm gonna have links to all the stuff I'm using in the description below. So this is the original battery box. This is the new one. Interestingly enough, uh, it did not fit in these rails and I did pre-measure before I ordered this one and it's like a quarter of an inch shorter. So what I did, if you run into this problem, luckily this doesn't go all the way to the frame so it's not welded. And I literally just bent this open. This is like eighth inch, not even eighth inch material. I was able to bend it just enough to fit the battery box in there super tight. To demonstrate how tight of a fit this is, I'll show you right now. It just barely fits. And I'm right up against the frame here and right up against the this wiring harness right there. Hopefully the propane regulator doesn't have to be moved. I put the top on. It's tight, but it all works pretty good. It is crazy how much heavier lead acid is than these lithium. I really have a good scale out here. Let's see if I can make this work, just for fun. 43 pounds. One of these weighs about 24 pounds. So, two of these batteries weighs just slightly more than one of those. Pretty crazy, oh my God, that's a beast. So there's a little bit of clay. Um, I think I should be good just using this foam. I know they make foam for battery boxes. I will probably get some soon-ish. Might even have some for my dirt bike laying around. Yeah, that works. All right, so I got these two cables off of Amazon. Link in the description if you need them. And we are gonna start connecting everything. So. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is essentially how you wire them in parallel. So one thing you wanna do is you wanna take from the actual camper cables, so this is the camper positive, you want the positive on one of the batteries and the negative on the other so it drains the two batteries equal instead of draining one first before the other. So I should probably mention you should disconnect your power on the inside of the camper just to be safe. <clears throat> All right, not too bad. One thing I did forget to do is put the straps underneath the box and I mounted it, but it's fine. We'll just wrap all the way around the frame. Okay, I'm gonna take it back off, double check. All right, let's go turn the power on and see if we're good. Hopefully we are. All right, shows 13.1, everything is working. So that's a good thing. Show you guys this real quick too. Part of this upgrade was I got this Renogy Rover 30 amp uh, MPPT charge controller upgraded from the one that was stock. Um, I really wanted the BT2 Bluetooth module, so now I have the uh, Renogy app so I can get all my battery data on my phone. Stuff to mount this, kind of clean up everything. All right, so that's it. Pretty simple upgrade. Like I said, two 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries. They're wired in parallel, which gives me 200 amp hours of capacity. 
and I have 100 watt solar panel on the roof that will probably get upgraded to two or 300 watts in the future. But capacity is what I need for the trip we are taking next weekend. And this should do the trick. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you out. Um, I tried to be as quick and precise about this as possible. This is only like a 20 minute upgrade. It's not bad. And I think the benefits are huge. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Like I said before, YouTube is taking advantage of my channel because I'm not allowed to monetize yet. So all of that stuff helps a ton. Uh, I'll do some more videos in the near future, I hope. I should probably do a video on my new truck. It's the F-150 Power Boost. And if you have a camper, this thing's pretty sick. Um, so keep an eye out for that stuff in the future. See you guys later.